Everybody likes to visit their family for the holidays, and we especially do. We are driving there across country back to Florida, and the Tahoe has a few issues that we need to work on before we make that long drive. So let's get started. Yep, so we've got to replace the shocks. The back end is making noise whenever it goes over bumps. This sucker is from uh, Rancho. Seems pretty high quality, had a lot of good ratings. I don't understand why they painted over the bushing. Whatever. Come on. Don't just push it willy nilly because it'll fall in a crack. That's kind of hard to get it out. So it looks like that bang is leaking. So it kind of released up here, it's not supposed to do that. So basically what's happening, whenever we hear the noise going over a bump, when the back end gets uh, fully released, that's what happens back here. That's what that noise is, makes sense. Now we got more room. Placing the wheel bearing. If you hear this noise, you probably gotta replace your wheel bearing. Nineteen. Nineteen. Then we gotta tackle these guys. Try not to drop it. It's pretty heavy and it will rip this line. It's already loose. No noise. Hear that? That's a bad wheel bang. Crack got her.
needs to be rotated one more time because there's a hole for the wire. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> what a doof. Before I hear it all in the comments, do not buy a Detroit Axle wheel hub. It's a low quality wheel hub. You should get a high quality one like Timken or Moog for something so vital like a wheel bearing. That Detroit Axle is going back to where it came from and a new high quality one will be here pretty soon. Just letting you know. Are you kidding? We're not done yet. Time to replace this sucker. It's a door lock actuator. That's like the third time I did that. <laughs> so the funniest thing happened. <laughs> yeah. I broke the caliber on the Tahoe, the Detroit Axle World Hub. It was having an ABS sensor issue. So I was trying to swap the new sensor with the old sensor to see if that was gonna fix it. And I was trying to reset the ABS system. And by doing that, I, I, I wasn't thinking and I decided to stomp on the brakes with the caliber out. The gasket preventing the fluid coming out of the piston um, got extended, which should be able to happen. However, since it's older, a small cut formed. But I'm just gonna replace it with an AC Delco replacement. But beyond that, that's just mistakes that I do because I don't think, but I'm still extremely happy we got all that done in one day, including messing up a caliber. This is Chris Bills United. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.